Hey crew, Mark Hadmaker here. Uh, we've been talking about, uh, you know, uh, revisiting old I illegal boxing, uh, you know, savage strikes, old school meanness. We're still on that theme, but let's cover something a little bit seemingly esoteric, but not at all. It's got a great deal of utility to it. Uh, to the old timers, uh, to the early days, when bare knucklers and on up, and even if you're just doing a lot of weapons work with big knives and tomahawks, hell, battle axes, a big, uh, old timers were really big on uh, equalization of strength, meaning uh, you just don't want the big muscles or muscles that work for you. You also want tendon strength for you. You want ligament strength. You're going to make sure there's a good in integrity all around each and every joint. You with me? I think you are. And let's be clear, we're not talking on grip, uh, grip equalization. It's not necessarily strength exercise. It's like I, you know, I can close those big grippers, I'm doing some big heavy wrist curls or anything. It's more about just making sure that these fingers and thumbs, everything operates uh, with maximum uh, mechanical advantage uh, all up and down the digitary line, as it were. Uh, the first exercise I'm going to give you is just called a straight turn. You're going to grab something here. I've got uh, these two bars I've just pulled off, uh, uh, the dip bars off of a squat rack. They weigh about three to five pounds. You want to have something with a little bit of weight on them. And I'm only going to demo everything with one hand here so we can see what we're talking about. I'm going to pick this thing up and for one minute straight. I'm going to white knuckle it. I'm going to crush the metal in this thing for one minute straight, and I want it to be equalized. I want to make sure, since I'm already aware of inequalities through this test, I want to make sure I'm crushing equally, but I want my arm in completely straight in front of me, and I'm going to move it while I'm crushing equal. I'm not doing it right now, but you should be white knuckle. I'm going to move to the maximum uh, uh, with this internal rotation to the external rotation. I'm just moving back and forth for the entire minute. Maximum grip, maximum crushing power the entire way back and forth. Make sure I use no momentum. I'm not trying to inertia past what my, what my uh, range of motion is. I'm going to make sure I'm controlling it through every bit of the way, just back and forth for the entire minute. Soon as that minute timer is up, hit it again, Pull your elbow back to 90 degree, same thing. Do not let up on your crushing, your white knuckling. You move them back and forth in this internal and external rotation and hard as you can. You are never, notice I even put that down, you're never doing this. You're not trying to swing and move past. Uh, grip equalization is not about mobility, it's not about trying, I'm gonna do lots of wrist exercise and stretching. If anything, this is gonna hurt uh, the, the, uh, the actual uh, equalization. You wanna be able to control through your ranges of motion and not trying to stretch and push yourself beyond the ranges of motion because that will also set you up for more uh, dysfunction and, and the inequalities. So you've got the straight turn and you've got uh, the bent turn. Fairly easy, right? Next, you want to grab yourself, uh, it could be your, your battle axe, your axe, uh, your, uh, your sledgehammer. Uh, use this, this way you can know that uh, you're able to constantly adjust the weight where the closer we hold to the head, the uh, more weight and resistance we're feeling. Obviously, the, the more we go to the end of it, uh, the, I mean, oh, I'm sorry, the less weight we're feeling right here and the further out on the handle we move, you're going to have the more weight. But just to keep everything in frame here, I'm going to go with uh, just using a standard tomahawk. And again, there's likely not enough weight on here to really do me any good, but just it does stand for demonstration purposes. Purposes. And the first lift we're going to do is just a thumb lift, meaning I'm going to grip this all the way at the end because there's no weight on it, and I'm going to be lifting towards my thumb. And I want my arm straight while I'm doing this, so the head's going to hang all the way down. I'm going to go one second up, and then I'm going to take about five seconds to put that uh, back down. So I'm lifting towards the thumb side about one up, and I'm taking about one, two, three, four, five, back down. Again, there's not enough on here to do me any good. Be better off to choke up onto a, like a, a sledgehammer. But while I'm doing it, I'm white knuckling it the entire way. And the other thing I need to think about, there's a tendency when you're lifting any sort of weight on this is you'll be, have a tendency to think on this one with the thumb lift, you'll be thinking more about your thumb and your, uh, your uh, index and your middle finger because you're thinking that's where I can feel all the pressure and I want to lift more with these. But what you want to think about is making sure that all the digits are equally engaged where you're moving through. Remember, we're thinking about equalization and not trying to separate the fingers down the line. Usually that's where some of our problems in the elbows and the wrist and the hand are coming from. The next thing after you, let's hit about eight repetitions of that. Turn that around and go lift from the pinky side. We're doing the exact same thing, about one second up, about five seconds on the way back down. Exactly the same sort of thing. We're using white knuckling the entire time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the entire way. As soon as that is done, you're going to go right back to those turns. You're going to give yourself, I'm going to choke up a little bit on it right here. You're going to be squeezing hard and fast as you can, but this time we have a little bit of weight that's going off of each side, so we're doing those exact same turns we talked about. And again, white knuckling the whole way. Don't let this dip past your range of motion. Again, you're not trying to stretch. You're trying to control your strength, your equalization, and all range of comfortable motion for you. Over time, there might be a little bit of a change in the range of motion, but you're mainly talking about equalizing everything. 
And then once you've done it straight, take it back to that bent turn. You're going to be moving it through that 90 degree bend in the elbow, back and forth, exactly like that. Just moving back and forth, hang on. Again, there's not enough weight on the head of this to really matter. It's going to be better off to work off that tomahawk. Uh, I'll give you one more exercise with it uh, while you're doing it, since we've already worked and blow, uh, blew out those uh, uh, flexors. And keep in mind, you should be doing all this in sequence for this group equalization. So for example, you would be doing uh, like that straight turn we just talked about for a minute, bent turn for a minute, then you can do the thumb lift for about eight reps, pinky lift for about a minute, then you're going to give yourself the uh, weighted uh, turns, then you're going to have the bent turns uh, for about a minute, then as soon as, I mean, all, all right down the line, you can have both hands going at the same time, equalizing, squeezing like an SOB, white knuckling the whole thing. To finish it off, since you've worked on those flexors, you're also going to work on those extensors as well. So we call it just the straight bye-bye. So we see this, hey, I'm waving bye-bye to everyone. You're going to give uh, resistance with the other hand, and so we're going to resist going up about that one second and about that five second down. But the key is here when we're doing it, we don't want to do it with the bent elbow. You're going to want to straighten this thing out because this will really start telling if you've got already pre-existing elbow pain, wrist pain, but primarily your elbow, you're going to feel it when it gets extended out. So about, about one second out, about five seconds on the way back in. That's what you're just finishing up with it, uh, right in there. One out, and then about five seconds uh, back in. Give yourself about 15, 20 of those reps. So you run those straight down the line. The arms will feel a bit blown out, not like you've done a big wrist curl or a workout, anything like that. We're mainly trying to make sure that these digits work in all these ranges of motion equalized so when we're back to throwing those fists, a lot of the upcoming material is going to make more sense for you. And again, you can continue on with this in your vehicle while you're driving around. If you've got something, you have a roll of quarters, or again, back to that tactical torch, whatever it is, you can just grab that thing. And since this is the base of this thing, uh, the cylinder of this thing is so strong, you can work on grip equalization where you're sitting near the stoplight. You are white knuckling as hard as you can, paying close attention to make sure that you're being equalized all the way up and down the line. So whether, again, it's your weapons work or your bare fist work or hell, even your grappling work, you're getting hold of someone, you're being equalized, strengthening the tendons, uh, the ligaments and the muscles at the same time, like an old timer. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.